The first thing I thought of doing in relation to this work was to find an anthology of American aspirational thought and subject it to chance operations. I thought the resultant complex would help to change our present intellectual climate. I called up Dover and asked whether they published such an anthology. They didn't. I called a part of Columbia University concerned with American history and asked about aspirational thought. They knew nothing about it. I called the information desk of the New York Public Library at 42nd Street. The man who answered said, you may think I'm not serious, but I am. If you're interested in aspiration, go to the children's library on 52nd Street. I did. I found that anthologies for children are written by adults. They're what adults think are good for children. The thickest one was edited by Commager, Documents of American History. It is a collection of legal judgments, presidential reports, congressional speeches. I began to realize that what is called balance between the branches of our government is not balance at all. All the branches of our government are occupied by lawyers. Of all professions, the law is the least concerned with aspiration. It is concerned with precedent, not with discovery, with what was witnessed at one time in one place, and not with vision and intuition. When the law is corrupt, it is corrupt because it concentrates its energy on protecting the rich from the poor. Justice is out of the question. That is why not only aspiration, but intelligence, as in the work of Buckminster Fuller, and conscience, as in the thought of Thoreau, are missing in our leadership. Our leaders are concerned with the energy crisis. They assure us they will find new sources of oil. Not only will Earth's reservoir of fossil fuels soon be exhausted, their continued use continues the ruin of the environment. I have contemplated the imprisonment a truly of good the book rather than the seizure is something as wildly natural and because primitive. they who assert the purest right and consequently are most dangerous the nature, to a I would corrupt say state that she never recognizes have not spent much time the simple heroism poverty. of an action. In the morning I watched if there were one who was connected with without the use of money, apparent, the state the itself pond. would hesitate to demand it consequence. Off. But the rich man it praises the, the, the interested energy like of the Boston Tea Party, institution which makes him rich. but will be comparatively the silent absolutely speaking, about the more bloody more and disinterested the of heroic For money attack comes between a man and when they had on the Boston rank, courthouse. And it seems them for him. over my head. And it was certainly no great virtue them. to obtain it. And the Sometimes to take rank holes on rice and spend my day in the 